Well, we're doing rigging today. Nothing in this barn is square, and nothing in this pole building, I should say, is square and can be counted on, and that with the gravel floor. I wasn't sure how I was going to go about to getting this close, but I think I've got it close. There's so many variables, as, as you all know, there's so many variables. A few sixteenths inch here and there really throws you off, but this is how I did it. I had this level for years. And I think it's pretty accurate. I haven't taken care of it, but it's pretty accurate. And I leveled the, the plane off carefully with that using my point where I made every, all of the measurements from. And I leveled off the wheels on this gravel just with chocks. And I got it so that's perfectly level. That's my main starting point. Now you're probably supposed to do this, but I just kind of invented it on my own and what I did is I leveled off the top of the wing. I found a spot where I could level the wing and I'm real confident measuring and double checking that I got the wings level. I took a measurement using a plumb bob to an, a homemade plumb bob I should say to a nice and heavy brick. I made a measurement with the wings level and I rolled it right on the inside of the wing. I think it was 65 and a half inches. Using these motorcycle tie downs, I just raised the wings up three inches. They're supposed to have three inches of dihedral at the wing tips. So I just raised it up three inches and then measured against my baseline. I added uh, three inches to my base measurement, 65 and a half. So then I got 68 and a half and I made that measurement right there and I've got three inches of dihedral on both sides. I have to double check it out on a nice flat concrete slab somewhere. Double check and cross check my measurements but and that includes the landing gear. I'm not sure if the landing gear is perfect yet or not either but it should be pretty level. Low budget aviation in a barn. 